Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really exciting video for you. This is going to be my makeup empties for the entire year of 2016. Yes, I have been saving all of them, even foil packets. Um, the only thing I'm not sure if I kept were beauty sponges. Um, and I did throw away a foundation, but I'll get into that when we go into the categories. So I didn't have any foresight. I just sort of kept all this stuff and when it got to be too much for a little like plastic storage bag I put it in this Tyvek bag that's uh, thanks to the USPS um, just so it wouldn't leak everywhere so everything's just sort of like thrown in here I'm gonna go off camera and sort it by category and then we'll go through everything alright you guys so I have separated everything out by category the first thing I want to go into is primers I'm not gonna do any reviews on this stuff because that would be a really long video but I just wanted to share with you how much I was able to get through this year I'm um, looking at it all it doesn't feel like a lot um, I don't know but hopefully 2017 is better um, the first things that I have here are two samples of benefit professional um, I also have two samples of DHC Velvet Skin Coat. I had a lot of primer samples. Um, Smashbox um, Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. Um, the Pure Correcting Primer. This Color Science Face Primer Skin Calming. I didn't keep the little, like, pot, but Makeup Forever Step 1 Green Corrector Primer. The Paula's Choice Shine Stopper. And the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Primer. Then I had two mini primers that I used up. This is the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer, and I did cut it open. And I have the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer, which is just a little guy. This I included because I did use it all up, but I have no idea what this is. I was sent this for um, a product testing thing, and they didn't tell us what the product was like the brand or anything was. It just says pore and shine control primer so I did use all of that up. And then my only other full size primer is my NYX Angel Veil primer. So I did hang on to one sponge which was I think the Ricky's NYC. Do you see how disgustingly like misshapen this is at this point? Wow. For foundations I did use up one foil sample of the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream in shade 21. Um, I did finish off my L'Oreal um, Pro Matte Foundation, but I didn't end up keeping it. Um, I also have this Dr. Dart BB Disipore BB Cream, which I cut open. I had the Lumine Time Freeze CC Cream in Light, and my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in Porcelain. For concealers, I used up a sample of the Tarte. Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. This took a long time to work through. Um, I was actually pretty shocked. And then I have two other concealers. I feel like I went through more, but I will have to go back through my empties posts in 2016 to see if I forgot anything. And I'll do like an addendum at the end of the video um, to let you know if I forgot anything. Um, this is the Tarina Tarantino um, Hyper Light something or other. I Dream Hyper Light under eye brightener and it was just like this brush tip I liked it and then I had this uh, Sephora smoothing and brightening concealer in light and it's also another brush tip for setting powders I have a couple I have my elf HD under eye setting powder um, I also had this mini of the bare minerals mineral veil then I have my Tarte um, Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. Um, I did cut it open. Then um, also the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent. And the Physician's Formula, what are you? Mineral Wear Talc Free Mineral Airbrushing Pressed Powder SPF 30. So those were all the pressed powders I went through. I also used up one like cheek product which is just a mini. It's the Balm's Balm Desert um, bronzer thing. It's a bronzer and a blush, but I used it as a bronzer. So use that guy up. I have three lip liners that I went through. and I kept this in the box because reasons, I guess. Um, so 
this is the Bella Pierre gel lip liner in cinnamon which I cannot get closed because the cap is stuck in there um, this is the Milani lip liner in nude I think it is it's number three um, so use that up and then I also used up the Tarte Tartus lip liner in later gram I finished off one lip balm this year which was the lip sole I think it's the honey berry one and I did dig into it until I got to like that little plastic insert in the middle and then I just didn't care anymore um, I finished off two setting sprays I could swear that I finished off an Urban Decay setting spray but again check the addendum at the end of the video um, this is the Urban Decay De Slick makeup setting spray and the Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting spray. Um, I finished off a pack of um, blotting sheets from e.l.f. These are the shine eraser ones. I finished off three nail products. The first one is this NYC in a New York Color Minute in Grand Central Station. It's just the clear and you can see that it's completely dried in the bottom there so I used as much of it as I could. And I finished off two colored nail polishes. This is from Rimmel. It's in I Lilac You. And this is from Sephora Formula X in Ignite. So you can see that bottle is pretty see-through. I finished off three brow products. The first one is this Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. It's just the mini one. Um, this was pretty good. It's like super darkened now because I use it after brow powder. And then I used up two of the tinted brow um, <clears throat> mascaras, whatever, gels. Um, Benefit Gimme Brow and the Ulta Brow Tint in Deep. I finished off a sample of the Too Faced Glitter Glue, and then I finished off one eye primer. This is the Lorac Behind the Scenes, I think it's called. So there's that. I finished off two liquid liners, a mini of the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper, and the full-size Starlux Luxe Longwear Eyeliner Pen, I think it is. Then I had one colored eyeliner, which is not really, it's neutral. Um, this is the Rimmel Scandalize in Taupe. And I finished off two pencil eyeliners that are black. This was from Physician's Formula. And yeah, um, I guess the rest of the product that's like down there loosened itself because like it was scraping my eyes. Um, like the plastic was scraping my eyes so yeah that's done and then I also have this um, Urban Decay 24-7 in zero and this was also scraping my eyes so I called it done I used up one pair of false lashes I rarely ever ever wear false lashes I didn't even wear them on my wedding day um, but these are the Fright Night Charmed lashes they were like crisscross um, a little bit dramatic. I think I wore these for like New Year's and maybe another time, but they're okay. And then I have a whole bunch of mascaras. So I have, what, just two full-size mascaras, um, which are the CoverGirl Super Sizer and then the L'Oreal Voluminous False Fiber Lashes Black Lacquer. And I have a bunch of mini ones. These two are in like the same packaging. Um, this is Guerlain Maxi Lash So Volume, and then the Chanel Le Volume de Chanel. Um, I have this Ico Black Magic Mascara. Um, it Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. The Stila Huge Lash Mascara, and a Benefit Roller Lash. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it for makeup that I used up in 2016. It doesn't feel like a lot now that I've pulled it out. Um, so I hope 2017 is going to be even better for panning. And yeah, that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you aren't already so that we can stay in touch. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.